Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Good to see you today. And I'm going to do a little church on the hill, a little country church. And uh, I did uh, previously pencil out the church because they're much buildings right now are still a little bit bit of a need to be perfected with hand-eye coordination seeing as I only have one eye I'm going to be making a sunset Blend that in there. Blending, blending, blending. Keep them pencils, blending, pencil, painting. Keep them painting, blending, 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 blending. Ta -da. And uh, a little bit of orange with the mixed with the blue. It's saying, "Hey, I'm a lively sky. I'm a pretty sky." I have multicolors. I have a multicolor sky. Hey, guys. A little bit of mix of each. I think. And when I when I uh, when I drew the church I did uh, lead uh, pencil and I think that was a good deal because I can now still see what I penciled, penciled, penciled in. And I'm just making a sky here. It just wants to... There's a sky that just wants to be blended in and noticed. It says, take notice of me. Hey, that's not a bad deal. That's, uh, that's really, you know, up close for some reason. Sometimes up close. You read, you see it, and... You're painting it, and uh, you know you don't always quite know what you got until you really look back and say, "Hey, that's that's pretty." I'd like to have a little sky like that. And. Some more sky like this, about like that, and a little bit over here, a little bit over there. Boy, it feels good to be back live online. It really does. It feels, it's remarkable. Now that's a remarkable sky. That is so remarkably remarkable. Remarkably remarkable. I'll take that. And I'm going to do, what color am I going to do the, the church? It's got to be a white church, you know, it's traditional white church. When I am missing my white paint. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. I know it's sneaking around here somewhere. Hang on, this is. Here I'm looking all over for my reading glasses. They're right here. They don't want to cooperate. That's an orange yellow. That's what I used. That was falling. I see it. I see it. And that's the that's the first thing that fell on uh, 
on my live on my live show here and I'm gonna here's what I'm gonna do is wipe put some paper down so I can sort of there's another reason I'm doing this too this will possibly improve the sky when I blot. That'll be that'll be a little later in the show. Blah blah blah. Ah, oh, there's my white paint. Oh goodness. It's making noise. It's making noise. And well, let's see. I know I just had my knife, my palette knife, and that seems to have wandered off all of a sudden. You never know it's going to wander off the marsh house. The cats wander off sometimes. So I guess that's really no surprise that things tend to walk away when you least expect it. So I don't least expect anything anymore. But it still happens. And I know I had it. I know it. I know it. Don't you love it when you just get, uh, you think you're all set, and then all of a sudden, huh, wait a minute here. We're uh, missing things. And it's not even on the floor. All right, I'm going to use a bit of, a little bit of a smaller brush. See if I can dig in here a little bit. See, it's better with the knife. For me, it's better with the palette knife. But as shaky as I am, Seems to be okay. I just a little bit of do a little. That's all right. That's fine. A little bit of uh, ingenuity, ingenuity, ingenuity. That's where it is. That's what it is. It's ingenuity. It's. Being creative and well, like uh, like Bob Ross said, there are no accidents. There is, or uh, there's no mistakes. It's happy accidents. So let's have a happy accident, huh? Instead of a bad accident. You know, that's a nice little steeple. Steep, steeple. <laughs> oh. I really wish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I kind of see where that line is. So, doing my best to. Keep her straight and narrow, straight and on track. It's kind of a steep steeple, a steep steeple. That describes it really good.
and I'm just going to go a little further. I should just start up here and work my way out of it. No big deal. And I'm going to get my rigger, rigger butt, bigger rigger butt, bigger brush, and which bigger one is it going to be? Are you the right size? You think he's the right size? I think he's a good size. I think, I think he should get a chance. You know, every every brush needs a chance to to grow and everything like that. You know. <laughs> okay. And uh, I'm gonna use a different cool cool different color for the roof. I think it is going to be that's Mars orange. I think it should be not this one, it's empty. Hmm. What about a gold roof? What about a gold roof? I wonder. Hmm. I might just try. Burgundy. I got a burgundy roof. There. That's a. I think that's a. A marvelous color. So pretty. I, I like the color burgundy. It just sort of has a has a, a magic to it. I'm getting caught up in the wire here. I'm gonna see. It really doesn't look all that half bad, if you ask me. But I'm always trying to look at the bright side of life, you know, or the brighter side of life, whichever, whichever comes first. Probably brighter. Well, probably bright, and then it get just it only gets better. It can only get better, right? I'm trying to get as steady as I can. That's kind of a cool, I think that's sort of a cool color for a roof. And I'm just going to let them, let it kind of hang out, you know. Let me see. Oh, that's not too bad. It's almost like a circus. Almost looks like a circus tent. Maybe this is a maybe this is a revival. You know, and uh, hello. hello. I have a guest here. Well, I think it's going to, wouldn't mind reading some of the messages that I've got so far. And my friend Delcy is here. Um, and, okay, I'm going to be, let's see, what was I thinking? You know... I, I got to find my black because, or, yeah, I'm using a little black 
for the lining or like a edging. Edging, edging, edging. And I'm going to use Mr. Small Brush. He hasn't been used at all. He's been feeling out of it. He's been feeling left out, so I'm going to use him. I'm just going to touch. This is this is total eyeballing it. I'm going to touch it and make a line. It's got a it's got an edge. Got an edge. It's nice and easy. Easy, nice and easy edge. And keep handy. And keep. There are any questions? Um. Gene Rankin loves the color scheme. I do too, Gene. You know, it's sort of a you can't say I'm 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 short on colors. You know, I just and I think the 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 molding is going to be black, I think. So that we know. But everything is going to, everything is going to stick out. Everything is going to blend together. And I think on this side... I think on this side, I'm going to see a little whoosh, side of the building on this side. And maybe I can go like this. Show that there is. Hi, Paula. It says hi, Nelson and Brent. Hi, Paula. And I think what I'm going to do, hang on, I messed up right here. No, I didn't mess up, I just missed. So there you got your your basic frame there. You know, even a tent needs a frame. So I guess that that figures out. And I think... There needs, so if it's a little country church, it's going to have to have a cross on the top. Steeple. Steeple. That's not half bad. That's not half bad. I think I've got something. I think I've got something in the works here. Um, let me see. I'm going to brighten up that, I'm going to brighten up that white up here. If I can. But you can still, you can still see it, you know. I think what I'm going to, I got to start, what I have to start using is uh, some, uh, like, gloss, gloss, uh, a glossy finish to these paintings. I've got this spray that you spray over and it just makes everything pop. And... 
Um, and let's see. Take care of this itch right here. <laughs> um, let me see. Any objection to this? Any objection to the front of the church being white? It would look good, you think? I think so. All right. We're going to have a white front church. Well, white uh, front and sides. And the paintbrushes seem to be drop number two. No, JJ's. I'm wondering if I mix the burgundy and the white together, see what happens. It's more of a pink church or a. Uh, Turn into a, like a magenta chart, magenta color, kind of. This is what I need. I'm missing my spat. I had my spatula just like minutes before I started this. Um, I'll use the stick. I use the whoops. I use the pop hole. Pop a little stick, sort of straighten that out a little bit. But you know, this is this is art, folks. You know, I like that better. I like the little the change in shade. I like the change in shade. Yeah, that's what. So the change in the shade. You know, you never know what you're gonna get when you paint things like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. If anyone agrees, I don't know. But you know, that just seems more. That just looks like looks more logical. You know, church doesn't have to be all white or all anything, all one color. You know. God made all the colors in the rainbow. He's all, he's all that. And let's see. I can just. Yeah, okay. Let me just fill this in. Fill this in a bit. He looks as no fit with books were really, really what? old and original. What's old and original? Like what she looks like. She said it was with really old and original. I imagine she meant it left it all white. Cool, cool. You know, you never know what I'm going to come up with in the, when I'm painting, you know. So, I guess that makes, I guess that's what makes my paintings, you know. It's what makes them unique. It's what makes them unique. Unique? Unique. Okay, Hugo was talking about the right, white front of the church. And if you left it white, it would look very old and original. Well, it's still a little... You know, I think you're right. I think you're right, Sheila. I think... Yeah. I see what you mean. I 
it's still coming out a little pink or uh, a little mauve, but yeah, that, actually that that looks uh, yeah, that's a better looking white. Um, let me see. Whew, I need some wind. The, the church needs uh, windows and stuff like that, but I've got to clean this up a bit. I've got to clean up a little. Because I put a little bit much too black on there and it's running a little. A little too much closed mix. And I bring this down a little further. Is that my cat? Right there. Your kitties are both in here. He's just got to explode right there. Those cats argue than you and I do. More than you and I. Okay, okay. I think that's kind of cool. Um, let me see. You are not falling. You are not. You fell. <laughs> Ooh, I can make some pine trees. I found my fan. <laughs> I've got brushes that are fans. It's like the, you're the one selling your shoe. What's on my shoe? That you just dropped, like you fall. I didn't need it that bad anyway. I had a brush in mind for the windows. My dad, a son of a gun. I found my brush that I used using originally that fell. Things have been falling a long time, long before you guys came along to see us. <laughs> and what's a good window size? What's a good window size? This right here. I think I'm going to use this one. I've used him before, you know. So he's a he's a he's a trooper, you know. He's a, he's got experience and. I'm going to use gray, a little bit of gray, but make it a little lighter gray. Mix that in with the white. And not much. Make it a little bit lighter, a lighter gray. I have a silver, but, you know, I've been trying to figure out what windows should look like. And, uh, you know, it seems like, well, the, the color, you know, no, I'm going to, Why is the silver, the gray not working? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do it with black first. I'm gonna blue windows, blah, blah, I'm gonna boo, boo. I'm gonna do windows with some black first. And they don't have to be exciting windows. You know. You know, that's an idea, stained glass windows. But this is more of a, well, this is more of a tent, I think. Tent style house, church. And a couple windows here. 
I'm gonna make a big one. Make a big window on the sides. You know. Everyone has their own everyone has their own style of what a building should be and how their windows should be. I remember uh when I get did construction I did a really I had a help carry a eight foot by twelve foot window and it took three of us and there was only three of us that's why it only took three of us because there was only three of us moving this big window from probably moved it about a hundred feet and then had to use sort of all sorts of gadgets to put it in place put this gargantuan thing in place you know and it just it was quite the experience So the door is going to be bigger, a little taller. And a little wider. I've been doing practice with drawing. And that's going pretty good. Um, so we'll see. I think there's going to be a bigger window here. I'm trying to make sure that everyone can see. Oh, yeah, you can see. Um, well, it looks like she has to go. She still is having overheating issues, but it's looking good and healthy. Okay, love you, Paula. Thank you. Okay, one more, one more window here. You know, now the gray is coming out. I mixed it with a little black with a bit of white. And there you go. You know, I'm going to put need some venting up here. A little bit of venting. Sorry, so you can kind of yeah, there's So it looks kind of something, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't have my words, I don't have my words correctly tonight, but that's okay. I think y'all, I think you've been with me long enough to know that I've got, that I'm okay. <laughs> um. I'm going to be using ground pretty soon. You know, that could be a walkway. She was said she was going to be uh, FIP tonight. Now, soon, or so, Nicolay Cherry said. Hope to see you and your friends there. So are you do are you doing a live pretty soon? Because I won't be long. I won't be too long. Ninety-five percent probability of FIP. Oh, okay, ninety-five percent. I figure maybe twenty minutes. I can finish this painting. You want to, someone want to time me? It is exactly 8 p.m. It's exactly 8 p.m.? Yes. Right now? Yes. Did you want to do, were you going to do your FIP right at 8 o'clock or is, um, or is I, and she says, no, no hurry at all, Nelson. Oh, okay, okay. 
Um, it will be a while. John is trying to salvage my junk instruction. Ah. Okay, I get it there. Uh, trying to use some of my bigger paints. And I was looking for a green. Well, okay, I'm going to use. I'm going to do a little something different here. Add another layer of paper. So it's easier to clean out the bowl when I'm done with the painting in the in the thing. I think there's more paint on me almost than the canvas. <laughs> Yeah, there's more paint on the canvas, but I thought, yeah, what the heck. Um, well, we all know your clothes become more work of art by the time you're done, too. <laughs> I'm going to use like a, this is a actually a metallic green, some sort of green that I think what I'm going to do is I need to tap in some trees tap in some well It is colorful. It, they say it's a green, but I'm not sure. But then it's a metallic too, so I can I can work with it. And uh, I hate to leave this area. I got to put a mountain up. <laughs> little bit of mountain, not a big mountain, just a nice little, nice little mountain saying, hey, how you doing there? What's going on? You know. And what I have to use a, how about a purple mountain? That's interesting. And there's a bit of a smaller brush that I used before in this video. Same brush getting used twice. Holy cow. And they're going to sort of show up around here. Yes, these are purple mountains. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> See if I can straighten these out. Yeah, for purple mountains, majesty. Hey, that, look, that doesn't look too all that half bad. I'm going to do a little bit of... You know, what I left before in the background, well, they've got to have a little bit of snow cap. Got to have a little snow cap. Got to happen. Can't. 
that's my that's just my uh, my thing you know that's like my trademark is a, yeah he puts snow caps on all his mountains Jerry said it's beautiful and angry, he said it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it sort of has I've a... I've been using an Oculus as part of my physical therapy. In now that sticks out. That sticks out big time. Look at places I will never go to in real life. The what? Jerry says she's been using an Oculus as part of her physical therapy. Oh, okay. Places she will never go in her in real life. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, we live on the most amazing planet. We are so lucky. I think that I don't know. Some water bulbs in South America today, and holy smokes, it was awesome. I'm using a little bit of orange yellow here. She flew over the water falls in South America today. And it was awesome. I'm just going to use different colors here. I'm just going to use. I'm just using different colors here just to. Just to fill it in, I mean, it's almost, you know, you know, but when I use that green, green metallic, it almost, uh, it almost sort of, you know, I don't know, but it did something. It, it kind of blend, well, it blends in, but now I'm going to try a little bit of gold. You know, it's like, this is one of these go for it moments, you know, you just blend everything in. I don't know, but maybe so. You know, I like, I, you know, I, I try different things on occasion, you know, and it's like, you know, if, it, if they, they work, work, they great, that it's great. But when it, if it, if it doesn't work well, no, no huge, no huge thing, you know, it's just, uh, this one is cap is covered. This is a Mars orange. Um, And that cap is down on the ground. Sherry says, I like when you have buildings in your paintings. I wonder about the people who might live there and what kind of life they might have. I wonder that too, you know. You know, it's just... Uh, Hmm. I'm not sure if Mars or Mars orange. I'm not not sold on that one. Let's find a different. I did, I'm just going to use this a uh, little bit more orange orange yellow. But I mean, it kind of reflects the church, the different colors of the church. Um, you know, I'm just sort of, well, what do you call winging it, you know? And uh, seeing where it goes, but this is, I've got like a walkway. I wanted, I really wanted a lighter green and it did not happen. It is not near my possession. 
So I got to use what I can and do the best I can with what I have. You know. You know, but with this guy, with this guy, this could sort of match. Yeah, I'll buy that one. I'll buy that one. That it's uh, sort of matching for the. Uh, like a reflection, a ground reflection. Yeah, like a big reflection. Reflecting the pool. I'm going to. I'm just grinding it in there. I'm just it's getting you know it's really pushed in there. You know that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice, but I think I I think I need to do just a couple of tweez. Tweez. I mean, you know what tweez are? Uh, <laughs> and. What's that? I'm using acrylic. The. Uh, I tried using oil and I slipped. <laughs> That was a bad joke. That was a bad, that was a bad one. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. My mom used to paint with oil. That's not always the easiest thing to do. For me, anyway. I have found it quite difficult to do. This is sort of heaven. It smells like baking bread. Oil is messy. It has a... I have oil paint, but I'm not... It has like a... a off odor. It has a odor to it. Uh, I don't know if you remember that kind of odor. Um, let me see. Sherry compared it to baking bread. Yeah. Then she said oil is messy. So are you saying baking bread is messy? Oh. This looks interesting. I've watched you bake bread, so yes, when you bake bread it is messy. <laughs> Have I baked bread before? Yeah, banana bread was stuck. Oh that's right. That well that's banana bread. That's nanner. It's still bread. Well, it is, uh, but it doesn't rise. Sherry says, yes, it is smelly, but it's a smell from her childhood that she misses and remembers. Oh, okay. You know how you get different smells that you relate to different times in your life. It brings back memories. I'm going to put a few trees up. Now what I'm going to do, I've got that. Um, you know what, why can't it be fall? Why can't it be some, there could be a little bit of fall coverage here. Foilage, called foilage. I think I can do this. I think I can achieve this very carefully. If it doesn't work, okay, so the women in my family lose their sense of smell as they get older. 
I'm hoping he makes that problem. Well, you know, I might have, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see texture there. Um, this might not, this might work out pretty good. Oh, that's a good effect. I mean, what's that? Sherry said that's a good effect. Yeah, it is. I think so. I'm going to use the end of my brush. Yeah, I like this effect. You know, because it sort of it sticks out and not like a sore thumb. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take. Where'd the fork come from? Well, I can clean it. Do my lines. Do my lines. Do my lines. Do my lines. This is what I was supposed to do with the knife anyway. The palette knife. See if I can get that in a little bit groovier. Make it groovy. It's groovy, baby. You know. Yeah, you know, it looks like you know it just it just reminds me of fall. You know, just sort of you know. That's really a decent painting. I look at it from the from the from the video, and that that's uh, really. That's the paint was still dry enough. <laughs> Did I get my glasses any? Well, that was major disaster of the. Uh, of the live stream. <laughs> wow. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, get back up there. Who said you could just throw yourself at me? <laughs> yep. Okay. You can see what it, it does look like trees, little, little trees and stuff like that. Um, you know what? I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not doing any more. So. This live stream is done, and man, I love you guys. Um, I hope you join the church. Um, <laughs> the fork worked, yep, definitely. And I think I knocked some uh, paint in my head. <laughs> Not the first time. So, all right. I will end the stream and uh, hopefully meet you guys on the other side of uh, ukulele sherry and and uh, hear that wonderful song smile maybe maybe all right um, so whew. I think I did a pretty good job <laughs> yeah sherry. Sherry wants to visit that church. <laughs> okay, you guys have a good night, and I will see you on We Play You In. Bye now. See you later. Me too. Thanks for the show, Nelson. <laughs>